payments are entering a new era. Taking innovation to the next level. We use our expertise to help our community. We move the transactions that keep the world's economies working. What we do underpins the world's way of life. Name the ISO 20 or 22. Ooh, ISO 20 or 22. Right. SWIFT is quite antiquated, kind of designed right. 50 years ago. ISO 20 or 22 standard. Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. Please remember to like share and subscribe. Today let's jump into the adoption of the new financial system for SWIFT and the innovation legend ISO 20 or 22. One of these, or some of these say that it's a, it's a distributed ledger technology. It is not a distributed ledger technology, it's simply a message standard. That's what it is, it's a way of exchanging data. Now, um, cryptos are also not on SWIFT. They're not currencies that are exchanged in the SWIFT network. And you know, one of the primary reasons that, um, that these articles actually say is that because it doesn't have an international currency code. Now, cryptos are not, don't have an ISO 4217 or an international currency code. And that leads to that next point that I had, because they are simply not currencies. Now, they are classified generally as, as assets, commodities, or securities, depending on you know, which regulatory environment, which market you have. It's created this, this bit of a problem, but they're, they're not a fiat currency. They're not a, a regulated currency. You know, they're not <clears throat> something that a government or a country actually has any influence over. The international standard ISO 20 or 22 for financial information is an open worldwide standard. It offers data that is reliable, comprehensive, and well-organized, making it suitable for use in any form of financial or economic transaction. Changes are coming to the way that members of the SWIFT community exchange payment messages as a result of ISO 20 or 22. This will open up enormous prospects for financial institutions, including as increasing operational efficiency, improving the quality of the client experience, and enabling the development of creative new services. The international standard ISO 20 or 22 establishes a standardized language for monetary transactions. The multi-part international standard known as ISO 20 or 22 was developed by the ISO Technical Committee TC68 Financial Services. Technical Committee 68 on Banking, Securities, and Other Financial Services is a technical committee formed within the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, in Geneva, Switzerland. Its mission is to develop and maintain international standards covering the fields of banking, securities, and other financial services. ISO TC68 is also known as Technical Committee 68 on Banking, Securities, and Other Financial Services. Permit me to explain the purpose for which the actual ISO 20 or 22 was produced. 1. A modeling technique that can capture financial business regions, business transactions, and associated message flows in a way that is syntax independent. 2. A comprehensive lexicon of commercial terms utilized in the field of financial communications. 3. A collection of XML and ASN.1 design rules to transform the message models into XML or ASN.1 schemas, depending on whether or not the usage of the ISO 20 or 22 XML-based syntax or the ASN.1 based syntax is desired. ISO 20 or 22 basics. ISO 20 or 22 uses layers. The top layer contains business processes and concepts, the middle layer logical data models and flows, and the bottom layer syntax. Business processes. The ISO 20 or 22 approach distinguishes between the business and its message syntax. ISO 20 or 22 begins with business model design. This defines the activity or business process, its roles and players, and the business information required for it. Business components organize business elements. In a credit transfer, fundamental concepts are debtor, pair, creditor, receiver, debtor agent, debtor's bank, creditor agent, and payment. Each component contains information. Figure 1 1 depicts a simple business information model in UML, UML. Financial institutions debtor and creditor agents handle payments. A debtor and creditor, parties with names and addresses, are also involved in the payment. 
these parties may also possess accounts. These details conceal more. Payments include currency, amount, execution and settlement dates, and remittance information. Logical messages and API resources apart from syntax. ISO 20 or 22 establishes middle layer logical models from these business ideas. A syntax-free logical model describes all the information needed to complete a business operation. It has hierarchical message or data components. A component uses one or more pieces from a business component. Credit transfer transaction information has four items. Debtor and debtor agent are components that need more description. Figure 1 2 is simplified and does not include necessary or optional parts, as is usual at this level. The solution may represent messages or API resources with these components. Credit transfer transaction information can specify an API resource instead of a message if the business activity needs it. Later, API resource actions may be set to control the credit transfer resource, new, update, view, etc. ISO 20 or 22 reuses business and message components across all messages and API resources. The component, postal address, can indicate a party or financial institution's address when modeling a credit transfer, credit card payment, securities, or foreign exchange transaction. Reuse, interbank settlement amount, and interbank settlement date. The syntax. ISO 20 or 22 uses layers, as previously stated. Business model and logical data model and flows are two levels. Syntax represents the logical model. ISO 20 or 22 converts message models to XML. If approved, a message model might be expressed in a syntax other than XML, such as Swift or Fix, in a certain business area. Using ISO 20 or 22. The benefits of using ISO 20 or 22 can be broken down into three main categories, linking messages to business processes, reusing components, and business-driven models that allow for the generation of XML for messaging solutions and JSON schemas for RESTful API solutions. Each of these advantages has their own distinct set of advantages. Continue reading for further information. Establishing connections between communications and operational procedures. Each component of an ISO 20 or 22 message, or an API resource, is connected to business components that are significant to users, are easily recognizable by them, and may be linked to the data stored in back-office programs. These components are found in the model. Utilizing existing components that have been thoroughly documented and organized. Because the components and parts are reused across messages and API resources, institutions only need to map them once to the internal data structures that they employ. As a result, it will be a great deal simpler to introduce new messages or resources given that the majority of the components will already be recognized and linked to back-office apps. Maintenance is also much simplified due to the fact that the majority of adjustments may be done at the component level. Examples of how standards coexists. 1. Left-hand versus right-hand drive, about half the globe drives on the left side of the road, while the other half drives on the right. It would be more efficient if we all drove on the same side of the road, no need to produce vehicles in two variants, wider markets for second-hand cars, no adaption for continental Europeans who chose to reside in the UK, or retired London investment bankers beginning wine fields in France or Italy. We only know of two migrations, Sweden to the right in 1966 and Samoa to the left in 2009. 2. Railway gauges at global standard, the 4 feet 8.5 inches Stevenson standard, has replaced the early free-for-all. Many early British railways, like Brunel's Great Western Railway, migrated. Russia, Iberia, and portions of Australia employ bigger gauges. 3. Numerous cultures, including those of Russia, Japan, China, and the Arab world, have developed their own unique alphabets and character sets for use in written communication. Despite certain migrations, such as Turkey's adoption of the Latin character set under Ataturk, the usage of non-Latin characters appears to be widespread. Domain names can now include both Arabic and Chinese characters, according to a recent change made by ECAN, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. Publishing ISO 20 or 22 Messages and API your API messages and resources, if approved by the SEG, will conform to the standards of ISO 20 or 22 and become messages or resources. The Registration Authority, I, 
will formally register your messages, API resources, and any additional components in the ISO 20 or 22 repository, and then publish them on the website located at www.iso20022.org. You continue to be the owner of the messages or API resources, and you will be informed in the event that users seek a modification to the messages or API resources. The messages or API resources and their schemas are made available to the whole community at no cost. ISO 20 or 22 and Swift's relationship. Swift strongly supports ISO 20 or 22. Swift helped create ISO 20 or 22 in 2000. Swift is the Standards Registration Authority, I, and has been since June 2004. The I maintains and publishes ISO 20 or 22 content. ISO issued the first official edition of the standard in December 2004. In addition to supporting message and definition creation, Swift built and maintains ISO 20 or 22 web resources, such as www.iso20022.org and the web query tool illustrated in Chapter 1. In January 2005, the RMG was established to oversee registration. Swift sends iSwift delegates to RMG meetings. Payments and security SEGs were established in June 2005. Two additional trade and foreign exchange SEGs were created in 2006, followed by a cards SEG in 2008. A securities SEG derivatives sub-SEG was established in 2016. All SEGs, including SWIFT, check message definitions for business content. SWIFT provides technical knowledge as well as business content validation as RA. It conducts periodic technical reviews of the standard to include comments and adapt to changing business, market, and technological conditions. Swift never finishes. ISO 20 or 22 requires high-quality material. Before registering content, the IA must verify compliance. Swift submits most standard stuff. Swift created 75% of the ISO 20 or 22 message specifications, sometimes for other submitting organizations. Swift promotes ISO 20 or 22 through its products, media, and events. Swift helps submitting organizations produce and submit ISO 20 or 22 content using many tools and services. Over 11,000 financial institutions and organizations use SWIFTNet, a secure IP network. SWIFTNet provides interactive messaging, including message validation, and file transfer for ISO 20 or 22 message consumers. Visit swift.com for Swift Network Service details. The roadmap for ISO 20 or 22's adoption by Swift starts in March 2023. March 2023 start of CBPR plus coexistence CBPR plus communications with central interoperability measures become broadly accessible on the FIN plus live service. This also includes the inflow translation service. November 2023 extra CBPR plus messages start active. A brand new collection of communications, the majority of which concern direct debits and checks. November 2024 Extra CBPR Plus messages go online. A whole new collection of messages that are associated with exceptions and investigations. November 2025 The end of cohabitation with CBPR Plus. The FIN Many to Many service is no longer accepting any messages, MTS, that facilitate cross-border payments or reporting messages, types 1, 2, or 9. The identical may be said about the inflow translation service. What actions should a bank take now? As deadlines approach, banks are under competitive pressure to conform to the ISO 20 or 22 standard because the payment industry's movement to immediate payments might render their goods and services unworkable. ISO 20 or 22 requires bank systems and databases to process bigger data volumes at higher rates for real-time payments, daily liquidity management, compliance checks, and fraud detection and prevention. Testing is necessary to verify syntax, formatting, and data mapping in all payment and clearing systems. Testing should begin by mid-2022. Banks must inform corporate clients about possible data availability and usage. Clients should be informed and involved in end-to-end -end testing. What are the immediate benefits of ISO 20 or 22? Standardize payments data worldwide. With an open standard that can adapt to new demands and techniques, 
it will deliver better data and payment for everyone in the financial industry. It may be utilized by anybody in the financial services business on any network since it will not be controlled by a single interest. Advantages Detailed data With richer data, financial institutions may improve customer service and generate new, customized products based on client behavior. Flexibility and improved data increase financial sector competitiveness which may spur product innovation. Improved visibility. Transparency and remittance information improve client experience. Liquidity flows in real time will improve forecasts. Financial services firms can be more agile and better manage liquidity. Better integration and compliance. ISO 20 or 22 will reach every market infrastructure and payment system using common XML technology to improve integration. Better analytics will enhance compliance, security, and fraud prevention with less manual involvement. Boosting STP ISO 20 or 22 greatly increases straight-through processing, STP, rates and decreases maintenance costs for all formats by functioning as a common language among worldwide interconnected systems and maintaining an identical processing format at all levels. STP, or the proportion of transactions processed without manual intervention, is used to quantify efficiency in the payment sector. Regulating and securing. The increased degree of detail and same standards, Protocols and formats provide improved regulatory reporting, more secure payment information, and consumer data to guide corporate strategy and expedite security processes. It streamlines sanctions, AML validations, claims, and investigations. Generating new income. New financial communication enhances liquidity management. Data analysis tools and added value services like request to pay and e-invoicing may give consumer insights and develop new income streams for banks by capturing more data uniformly. The following cryptocurrencies are compatible with the ISO 20 or 22 crypto standard. Stellar, XLM. XDC network is comprised of Hedera, HBAR, and IOTA, MIOTA, XDC. Ripple, XRP. Quantification in Algorand, ALGO. QNT. Because each of these currencies was designed to facilitate easier participation in transactions conducted on a worldwide scale, they were able to more rapidly conform to the requirements of the ISO 20 or 22 standard. This list, on the other hand, is only going to get longer as more cryptocurrencies decide they do not want to be excluded from the global payment market and work toward ISO 20 or 22 compliance. Additionally, the fact that they adhere to ISO 20 or 22 does not in and of itself imply that they are good investments. Ripple is a great illustration of a cryptocurrency that has significant resemblance to SWIFT with ISO 20 or 22, without the upgrade. SWIFT as of now is ancient compared to any cryptocurrency as of now. About the intriguing penny coin Hedera. You should most definitely add it to your watch list since it possesses a great deal of potential in the future. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. Stay tuned we are an active administration. Please like, comment, and subscribe, never be afraid to voice your opinion. Tell us in the comments what you think, and give us some suggestions on what kind of content you'd like us to deep dive into. Until next time, good day, good night, and goodbye.